Hey guys and welcome back to another match day vlog. Today not so away to Port Vale. That's right, it's another Saturday of success in the glory story that is supporting Notts County Football Club. Yeah, anyways, Notts have lost their last three, so our form isn't the best going into this one. However, despite our poor form, there have been some slight improvements um, in the last two games. We played well against Swindon and MK, despite getting nothing from either game. We just need to play well for the full 90 minutes now, and hopefully results we get we start to get decent results yeah come on Knox. come on you pies let's do this so we're here waiting for our train which has been the first we want the one we wanted to get has been cancelled the 1037 has been cancelled uh, something had to go wrong didn't it yeah so now we're waiting here what time is it now it's like 20 to 11 so now we've got to wait just over 20 minutes for the next train I'm actually organised as well that's the thing that like, I'm never organised for an away day as well and now I'm actually organised today and now the train just doesn't decide to turn up typical just typical Right, so the team news is that Christian Dennis replaces John Stead in the starting line, or not the change I would have made, I would have kept Stead up front and put Dennis in for Hemmings, but it works for me. It looks like we're going really attacking. Baldwin, Alessandro, Hemmings and Dennis as, you know, the four up front, whether it's 4 2 3 one or 4 4 2. I think it will be a 4 2 3 one because that's the formation we've been using over the last few weeks. But yeah, it's a decent team put out by not so just hope we finally turn up away from home. During the game. Hey, hey running just played for them. I knew I made a mistake, it was Emmings. He was actually scoring with his first chance, with his only second chance. Because last Saturday it took him 15 chances to put one in. Lots have been alright going forward. It's just we need to just stop the crosses. Stopping crosses again, which led to the goal. Harry Kuhl mentioned so many times about stopping crosses. We didn't stop the cross, and they put a blue card and scored the header. But, we took, but like I said, the shot for us it were Enzio. Enzio is so crucial to our team. But the midfield again seems very. We need some. We've not got much creativity in midfield. We have no swing to it. They can go. They can tackle, but passing maybe is just a bit beyond their game. I'm not saying they can't pass, obviously they can pass, it's just that they offer the creativity that we that we you know desperately need to change games. It's a bit disappointing when the creative midfielders like Patching and Crawford can't get on the bench. We've actually got four defenders on the bench, which is quite something. About 60 minutes in, which means it's about time 
haven't stopped playing well because we only played for 60 minutes. We started the second half decent, but we look a bit wobbly defensively. I'm worried we're going to see the really shit goal in this game. It's just that type of game. We know what to expect from them. Well, we know what the tap. We know they're going to get crosses into top two. How can you expect? I can just see us just continuing a really, really crap goal. When we both on down, and we scored two, and he scored two in the last five minutes. Second time in two years. Get out! So as I said earlier, Bale have said lots more right. Bale have dominated since, uh, since I said all that. Bale have dominated, have been under the cross, and they should be, they should have won the game. But we're not in this at all. We turn up for the first 65 minutes, and then the next 25, we don't bother. It's so limbs, 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 limbs. Capital L. Get up! Turn it! Yeah! Target men to aim for for this. Now we've got six defenders on the pitch. So we're back in Nottingham and yeah, we've just missed the 1857 train, so we're going to be here for the next 40 odd minutes. So I might as well conclude the conclude the game and the match day right here. Knots were first off we were alright, we played some good stuff the first 15 minutes. Um, and then we just kind of stopped and Port Vale came into the game more and obviously they took the lead. We got it back though like just like 10 minutes later. But second half we were shambolic, we were very poor, Port Vale put us under the cosh, we were constantly under pressure and to be honest they deserved at least something from the game. You can't take the lead in the 87th minute and concede it and then just lose it straight away, you can't do that, you've got to be switched on at all times. And whilst the Port Vale probably deserved, the, they did deserve the draw, they did, like I said they deserved something from the game. You just when you take the lead that late on in the game, you've got to hold on to it. You can't like let it slip at that point. It was echoes of last week when we had loads of chances and Swindon won. Yeah, we had, thought we had loads of chances and I thought we'd absolutely, I thought we'd nicked it at the end there. But we, the two things Harry you said before the game were: don't allow the crosses to come in and don't allow Pope to have room. The first goal came from a cross which wasn't prevented and the second goal came from Tom Poe having a free header in the area in the 89th minute. Now that's just not good enough. That isn't good enough at all. But there's, we can bat we battle today and that's uh, what I can take from it. Is there anything enjoyable about supporting this club? Because I... Because I don't know. 
87th minute, and we're going to concede in the 89th. We literally just need to hold on for just over three minutes, and we've got three points. That's just, it's just not, oh, it's not difficult. It's not difficult. Hem Hemmings and Baldwin again tried. They always put in a shift, both of them. And they are probably our biggest attacking threat. And Dennis, you can't play Dennis up front as a lone striker. You've got to play. You've got to play him up front with someone else. I'm confused at the bench as well today. We have four defenders on the bench, and at one time we were playing six at the back. We had Duffy, we had Brisley, we had um, Turley, Ward, Tuto, and Avina all on the pitch at the same time. But we want to play this passing football. Where's Patching and Crawford? We have six defenders on the pitch at the same time. But we want to play this um, attacking band of football. This passing style of football. Well, why aren't Patching and Crawford on the bench? Why wasn't Thomas Bolt on? Just come on. We're stuck with this till January. That's the annoying thing. We've still got, what, like, eight more games of this. And then we can... But what... What I'm worried about, like, I've tried to defend Kuehl, I have, I've tried to defend him and say, oh, we're in a big mess, like, Nolan put us in a big mess, and this is obviously going to take time, but I've seen after the game that he said we deserved to win, how we did not deserve to win that game, Port Vale had so many chances, it was practically the reverse of last week, you know, when we, you know, had chance after chance after chance against Swindon, you know, and we ended up losing. This, today, Port Vale had lots of chances to score, and we thought we, you know, stole all three points in the end, but again, we just let ourselves down because we're not. So, Brisley, gone. Vaughan, gone. And I, I'm starting to give up with Elliot Hewitt. Well, to be honest, he was, Ryan Yates made him look good, and... It just it, it, it's, he's, he's, he just walks around like he's shopping. It's just he just he, today I, he didn't turn up. He didn't do anything. And then Alessandra, like you've got to be more consistent. You can't play well one game, then have three games off, and then you know you can't you know pick and choose when you play well. I want a, a mid. I want a player there. I want Alessandra to be on it every single game. Because he's a crucial role in the team. He's the attacking midfielder. And you've got to be on it every single game. You can't pick and choose when you play well, Lewis. Anyways, it's frustrating. Portwell. Anyways, it's frustrating. Portwell probably did deserve the win. But it's... It stops the losing run and we scored against a defence that before today kept three clean sheets in a row. So there are positives, but we have got... To win on Tuesday. It is a huge, huge game. We have got to start picking up points. Oldham, Cheltenham, Morecambe, Carlisle in succession now. There are winnable games there. And you've got to win some of them. You've got to win at least two or three. Anyways, if you enjoyed the vlog, give it a like. Comment down below your thoughts on the game. Stay subscribed if you're subscribed. Subscribe if you're new. Be safe. Be champions. And as always. To...